And thank you. Indiana Stamp on the music industry can be found in Terre Haute at the Sony plant. The first CDs produced in North America made there. But now, as Inside Indiana Business Health reporter Kylie Valletta reports, the plant is writing a comeback story with medical devices. The Sony DADC facility was once known as the CD capital of the world. But technology has changed, so Sony is now rewriting its soundtrack. Every single PlayStation disc in North America comes through this plant to be packaged, but Sony no longer makes them. In fact, no discs are made here anymore. It's a far cry from the plant's glory days when production lines churned out 4 million discs per day. Whether it would be DVD, whether it be Blu-ray, whether it's the PlayStation game, UMD, LaserDisc, I mean, every single format has come through this Terre Haute facility uh, plant since 1983. The plant was in growth mode for 30 years, the largest employer in Terre Haute with 2,000 workers. But as demand dropped for discs in all forms, a major downturn began in 2010. And so we did have to go through uh, a dramatic size reduction uh, throughout the years. And it was very difficult because these were people that had, uh, you know, bled Sony Blue for a lot of years and we just didn't have the work. There was, there was nothing we could do. The plant let go 90% of its workforce in 10 years. Packaging and distributing PlayStation discs have kept the plant alive. PlayStation consoles are also packaged here. But with more than 1 million square feet of space, the plant is now hungry for growth once again. Where the equipment that we took out of here, how do we go through and fill the space with other diversification opportunities? Something we've never done before, which means we have to become something we've never been before. Sony is now looking for other companies to fill open manufacturing, warehousing, and distribution space and use Sony employees. The biggest impact could come from a massive clean room. Once used to make discs, now move in ready for new business. And Sony is targeting medical device companies. As we know, our country is aging in population, and we see the Indiana growth in medical device fields. Sony has one of the largest clean rooms in the Midwest, and with more than 110,000 square feet. As part of the plant's pivot, five new companies and projects have already moved in. Hopefully in three to five years from now, you know, we've got 500 to 1,000 employees because we brought in so much new business. So I think the message of the community is, yeah, we've had some rough years. We're still here, and we're, but now we're only going to continue to grow. And leaders here at the facility say the clean room perhaps presents the biggest opportunity, and not just for medical devices. The first tenant is connected to Indiana's emerging semiconductor space. That was Kylie Valletta reporting. For the latest business headlines, watch Inside Indiana Business Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. on CBS4.